Jane P says there should be classes for men coming out of relationship to help them do self work. Jane P, that is true for men and women alike. It would be great if men and women alike took classes on how to be an adult in relationship. This is one of the reasons why I continually recommend the book, How to Be an Adult in Relationship. And folks, you know, I know many of you put me up on a pedestal. I, I, I just want to say something. While I've done a lot of work reading a lot of these books and doing the work, I continually put my foot in my mouth. I have a capacity to be insensitive. I have a capacity to be downright stupid at times. And it's, and it's part of my journey too. Sometimes we make mistakes so we can learn from mistakes. Um, and I'm here to say that while, you know, there should be a class for men, there should be a class for women too. You ladies are just as much of a pain in the ass out there as men are assholes, okay? You ladies can be just as much of a pain in the ass out there. You know, we got to let go of this pointing the finger at the opposite sex because Listen, men complain about women, women complain about men, and guess what's not happening? There's no merging of the sexes, and I don't mean there is in the sexual sense, but there's no merging from a relationship perspective because we're pointing the finger instead of doing the work inward. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know. All right, thank you so much. Sandra says, amen. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Lisa says, uh, dating is hard work. It is effort. It does take a lot of effort. Um, all right. So let's see what other questions. We're going to take one or two more questions. Uh, bear with me. Bum, bum, bum. You know, I'm just going to share something personal. And I'm rather embarrassed. Um, recently met a very interesting woman and I sabotaged it. Uh, I don't know what's going on inside of me. I think there's still a lot of residual fear that happened. Um, you know, whether it's the ending of my marriage, the ending of the, my last relationship, I have, I have mother issues. There's a picture of my mother and father. I have mother issues that creep up. I had a very controlling mom in my life. And, and I'm a guy, I'm driven by my libido and I'm here to say I've done, you know, I've been insensitive and, and I, and I've certainly, and by the way, I've owned it and I've apologized to it, but it doesn't, you know, it's not right that I did it. So I have to ask myself, why did I behave this way? Why did I behave this way? Why would I sabotage something? And I'm sharing my own personal experience to maybe give you some insight on why you might have sabotaged things in your life or why a man you've dated might sabotage the relationship. And that a sabotage is simply maybe saying something that's insensitive or doing something that's insensitive because there's still a fear in your life. And while I've done a lot of personal development work to heal a lot of my fears and insecurities. And I'm going to be candid with you. I'm no different than any other person. My biggest emotional health issue is I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable. I'm not likable. I have those same fears inside of myself. And, and as much as I present myself out in the world, and I, that's why I'm, I said earlier, please do not put me up on a pedestal. Many of you do but I'm riddled with insecurity and flaws. I happen to be a pretty good communicator uh, and, I'm, and I do take ownership when I make a mistake and I certainly have in this case. And yet, why would I sabotage something? I oftentimes feel like we create pain in our life as an opportunity to learn. We create pain. Sometimes the pain is also a, re is a pain to someone else. Um, for their own experience, I can only say this in my own life, you know, each, each, each time you connect with another human being, it's certainly an opportunity to, to be, a, be in a state of love and be of loving to another human being and hopefully loving to ourselves. And at the same time, each experience is, it's like a movie I was watching on Black Mirror. If you don't have Black Mirror, check out the the episode called Hang the DJ, Hang the DJ. I was just watching it last night. 
And I'm here to say everything does happen for a reason. And sometimes they're short-lived experience. Sometimes they're long, uh, long-term long experiences. And they don't go the distance because it's really an opportunity to learn and 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 also love yourself when you make a mistake. I've made a terrible mistake in, recently. And I've really, and I'm beating myself up terribly over it. And I deserve the, the, you know, I, 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 I deserve it. I did it to myself. And I also have to practice what I teach in my book. What the heck is self-love anyway? I have to teach what I practice in my book. And my hope is that no matter what happens, we can learn to find the inner peace within ourselves. We can learn to love the little kid inside of ourselves because every one of us has a little kid that's hurting inside of us. I mean, well, every one of us has a little kid and some of us has a little kid that's really hurting for a variety of different reasons. And we don't mean to hurt others. I really do believe this. I know you're, you, you watch these thousands of hours of videos about narcissists and all the terrible things that narcissists do. And it makes you, you know, and it makes it feel better that you've learned this. But the reality is, is most people, even the narcissists, even the people like myself, don't intentionally, I really don't believe that they intentionally want to hurt someone. And yet we can do stupid things. Human beings are flawed. We are riddled with flaws. I am no different. I'm riddled with flaws. And I'm here to say what, what matters most is letting go of the judgment, letting go of the criticism, letting go of the contempt, because all that's going to do is bring more and more into your life. And I'm just here to encourage you to just have compassion for others as well as compassion for yourself have compassion for others, have compassion for yourself, recognize that this is all part of the experience. It's, it's happening for a reason. Those reasons are for you to learn, to become the best version of yourself. And that's my invitation for you. And I, as I just shared with you, I went through this experience where I screwed something up. I mean, I said something stupid and, and I deserve what came to me because I did it to myself. And I'm also going to have compassion for myself at the same time, because beating ourselves up is like the cross. It's the cross. You know, I've nailed nailed it to my, the, 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 the stake, my feet, my arms. And that's not healthy to self-crucify. And my hope is we can, I hope is by me sharing this experience with you, you don't crucify yourself in the future. Can I get... An amen for that. I mean, when I say amen, you will not criticize yourself for the future. Can I get an amen? Thank you so much. And thank you for allowing me to share that personal experience here. Um, so uh, Jennifer says, I've sabotaged many men many times and I've healed it. Um, I'm still learning myself. Lisa says, I'm working on my spiritual life and putting dating on hold because I'm not meeting anyone. I understand that too. Renee says, Jonathan, thank you for your candid honesty. It was really been helpful. I'm so happy to hear that. Teresa says, amen. Sandra says, amen. Thank you so much. All right. 